Hey guys, welcome to another Thank Truckers Friday. This week we're going to get into this Actros 5 Big Space, which is fully loaded with a load of Cuda gear. Here we are then, another Mercedes Actros 5. I'm sure some of you are aware, one of my personal favorite trucks. I think it's such a good looking truck, these Mercs. And we have had the privilege of doing another large batch for a very well-known fleet, a very loyal customer of ours, and we're really thankful to you. You know who you are, so thanks for that. Thankful that we can put so many of our products on these trucks and help this operator achieve great fuel economy, great safety, great driver retention and a load of other stuff, loads of other greats as well. So let's walk you around. We're going to start at the top. Our IAM air management kit. That's the spoiler on the roof. It's been wrapped in a nice ultramarine blue to match the bottom of the cab. You can see our IAM badging up there. That's a high volume kit. It goes from 4.2 meters to 4.35. This particular version, we can go from 4.2 meters up to 4.6 if we need to. There's no issues there. The whole point of a high volume kit is to provide great aerodynamics on taller trailers or taller containers. So some of the containers out of the ports might be 4.3, a factory air kit is four meters out of the factory because in Europe, that's as high as a truck can be. Um, over here, obviously things can be higher. So it's a good, um, a good thing to have great aerodynamics and great airflow up and over that trailer. Little key fact, for every 200 mil of trailer bulkhead that's exposed, so just that, that's 3% increase on fuel consumption, basically, a 3% increase in the drag and the fuel consumption on the vehicle. So if you think that's every 200 mil. So if you're running a four meter air kit, pulling a 4.6 meter trailer, for example, that increase could be up to 9% on your fuel. If you run the figures on that, and trust me, we have, on a tractor unit doing 100,000 miles a year, that's 3,000 pounds a year, potentially, that's costing you in extra fuel that you don't need to be doing. You could be fitting an aerodynamic system and saving yourself within the first six months. Much better investment than double glazing, that's for sure. Anyway, back to the truck. So, air kit on the top, it's got the blade. We've got our ears there, which are perfectly shaped and color matched to the cab. And then our uprights here that run down the side. You can see the bottoms have been painted in ultramarine blue as well, using one of our, our partners there for the paint. Uh, next to the air kit, if we just walk in a bit closer, you'll see these little black lights up here. Now, some of you may be familiar with those. They're called maneuvering lights. Um, this particular operator has specified them. So when the truck is put into reverse, what those lights do is they create a nice bright area of light down the side of the cab, about seven meters long, two meters out. So when the truck's in reverse, the driver can see not only obviously everything in the excellent mirror cams, but then it lights up everything beside him as well. So he's got a good, a good, um, vision of everything around the vehicle. It should make maneuvering much, much easier. Uh, those have been, like I say, fitted here. They come with a two year warranty as well. So they're, they're a high quality lamp, super bright LEDs, four super bright LEDs on them. More information on them you'll be able to find below down in the description. If we move back towards the back of the cab, if we get our lovely camera lady to change her angle, there we go. We've got a nine kilo firebox with a nine kilo extinguisher on the inside. Keith, okay, it's a firebox, it's not overly exciting. One key thing about this one, particularly for the Actros, we don't drill the back of the cab to fit it. We use existing cab pickup points. So if you do potentially have the issue where you're not allowed to drill holes in the cab, this box and our bracket system is the one to go for. We have our chassis infill. We've done videos on that. We can uh, pop that out here for the fitting guides. You can see how quick and easy they are to fit. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Just increases and fills in that little gap there on the chassis for a nice safe working area behind the cab for the operator when he's hooking his Susie's up, basically. We'll continue our tour this way, walking round to the front of the vehicle. Again, not overly exciting, but we have a Hascam plate. We've fitted that, wrapped in white. It's a folding plate, nice easy clip system. You just clonk it up. There you go, what more can you say about a Hascam plate? But there you go, that's our one. All wrapped nicely to the cab as well. We have our X-Block wheel chocks, which are a folding wheel chock. We have done a video on those as well. 
There's two chocks here, believe it or not. Nice strong chassis bracket. We pull the pin, we can slide the chock off. Nice tight fit so they're not gonna fall off. And then the chock themselves, they open up into an X and you've got your full size, fully regulated HGV wheel chock there. The next things I need to show you are inside the cab. So we'll reset and you'll join me in there shortly. Okay, here we are on the inside. Well, almost, I'm just climbing up, so excuse that. Uh, inside this cab, what have we fitted? Well, we fitted a VTG plate holder. That's on the side of this seat here. You should be seeing that now. It's a waterproof license holder. It's a VTG plate holder, guys. You know, it does what it says on the tin. That's where the operator wanted it, and that's where we've placed it. Then we have a three kilo powder extinguisher, which is on a bracket down here. Nice and easy for everyone to get to, just on a simple clip system. So you can pull it out, nice and accessible. That's bolted into the, uh, the bulkhead of the bunk there. Up above my head, we have a height indicator. Again, does what it says on the tin. You just wind the little plastic knobs on the side, set the height of your trailer or your truck or whatever it is you need. It just acts as a reminder if there is any low bridges or anything low, it just keeps in the driver's mind then how high the vehicle is. I'm gonna step up a bit here now and we're gonna pan up to our cab store locker. You have seen, I'm sure, many of these now, especially on our channel, but they're always gonna get a mention because they're a great product. Um, this particular cab is the Big Space. This is our Big Space cab store, three compartments, total additional storage of about 450 liters. And uh, again, color and texture match the interior of the cab. Nice, smooth, gliding roller shutter doors, of which also the one behind the driver's head on this particular configuration does lock. Again, that was requested by the customer. We can do that. We can do all the doors lock if that's what you wish. Um, just give us a shout and we can sort that one out. Center locker on this is perfect for a truck chef microwave, should you wish to fit one. You could also, in the big space, we also do a truck chef microwave kit that goes in the front locker if you wish to do that. We haven't particularly done it on these ones for this customer, but you can, if you wish, we can, we can do that. And all of those products will be linked below as well. That's pretty much it. I love this truck. Like I've said, the Actros 5 is one of my favorites. I'm really chuffed that we've been able to, to fit so many things to it. So again, thank you, Mercedes. Thank you to the other customers involved as well. You know who you are. Thank you to all of our partners that have helped this one come together. There's been a lot of moving pieces. Um, it's a nice size deal, so thanks ever so much. One last thing to mention, everything you've seen here has all been covered by our stage two type approval. It's all been done pre-registration and we're really chuffed that we can offer that service to our customers, um, not just Mercedes, all other brands as well. So if you need any more information for that, give us a ring, ask for me. I can talk to you about type approval until the cows come home, I'm not fussed. <laughs> all right guys, thanks again. Remember, like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification icon so you know when we upload again. Keep checking out our socials too, because there's so much going on on our socials at the moment. And if you haven't already, you need to be on there because we've already given away like 500 pounds worth of accessories just in the last month and a half. So keep an eye out, there's gonna be more coming. Thanks again, see you soon.